Hey, we have the grouper running route. Thank you. So we're headed to the hospital with Heimlich, the gag grouper, to check on his eye. With all the construction around here, which is a good thing, but it makes it for a nice rough drive. Anytime we knock out an animal or put it under, it's a little nerve wracking just because you don't know how they're going to react. Because a lot can go wrong with an animal that typically lives in the water. Go. Ah, very nice. We made it. Okay, hello. <laughs> okay. So a quick recap before we get started. I am going to induce in here, and then once he is sleepy, we'll put him onto our fish table, and then we're gonna start with a physical exam. I'll do an eye exam, and then depending on what we find, we'll go from there. For Heimlich, we chose a local anesthetic powder that when dissolved in water and breathed across their gills, causes anesthesia in the same way that it would for an air breathing animal, breathing in gas. Getting sleepies. All right, we are good to move. Let's get them on the table. Go ahead. There we go. A procedure on a fish is gonna be different than anything that breathes air uh, because you have to make sure that they have their source of oxygen, which is water. All right, perfect. Can you keep an eye on the water level for me? When it gets low, just take it out of here and you can replace it for us. Okay, all right. We wanna make sure that there's nothing behind the eye, there's no infection, there's no trauma that's causing that to grow in size because otherwise we could be ignoring a problem that's fixable. This whole eye is a mess. You can let go. So you can see here that this is not actually being pushed forward. It's all oh, tissue. Man. So this is a fairly easy fix. The best solution in this case, because the eye is non-visual and that extent of increased size is really painful. So the best option for him is for us to remove it. Um, wanna look at this? What's he got in there? Okay. Oh, wow. So I opened his mouth and I noticed something that definitely did not belong in there. I'm like had a very large mass in his oral cavity. So, it definitely changes our plans a little bit. Yeah. yeah. So the mass was a little bit bigger than a golf ball in size, and we had multiple different areas of bumps on it. It looked very abnormal. Let's look at the rest of him, and then we can go from there. Kind of just a big bummer. It could be a sign of more health issues than what we thought was going on. The eye, we kind of knew there was something going on with the eye, uh, but the mass in the mouth there, uh, we didn't even realize. We've never really seen it when he was eating. We might have to think about quality of life in the future for this guy. What I would recommend is that we take this out and we submit it and we see what it is. And then I take a sample of the one that's in his mouth. Does that sound okay? Sounds good to Perfect. me. Perfect. Might have to change his name from Heimlich to like one Eye Willie now or something. Uh -huh. <laughs> you can't change Heimlich, that's like <laughs> the best name ever. So this will fill in with a good amount of tissue afterwards. Fish clot very well. So typically when we remove an eye, there is a big vessel at the back that we want to be watchful of that you can stop that bleeding. But in fish, typically you just need to put some pressure on it and it will clot itself.